This is the program from our last video, and what it does is it draws a triangle. Uh, it moves our sprite to the center of the screen, makes it real small, and points it in the direction of east, which is 90. Then we clear whatever is on the screen, we drop the pen down, and we start drawing with the pen. Uh, we go 100 steps, we turn left 120 because that's a third of a circle. Then we wait, then we do 100 steps more, which would be this line right here, and then we wait, and we turn, and then we wait and we draw another line and then we turn and that's the end of our program okay now let's try doing this for a square okay well a square has four sides so we're going to have to change this uh, to one fourth of a circle which is 90 and we'll still move 100 steps so the lines will be the same length and we got to put a 90 down here but a square has four sides, so I need to go down here and I need got to add two more uh, move and turn instructions. So let's go to our motion stuff up here and let's add another move and let's add another turn and that's the wrong one. I want to turn to the left every time here. And I'm going to move 100 steps and I'm going to turn 90 degrees. Okay, so move and turn move and turn, move and turn, move and turn, the same instruction four times. Now let's run it and let's see what happens. Okay, so there's our square. Now imagine doing a five-sided figure or six or seven or eight or whatever. Um, you're going to end up with repeating a lot of stuff here. And it turns out that if you want to repeat stuff, um, you only need to do it once. So I'm going to get rid of everything here except the first three instructions that I want to repeat. And then what you have to do is tell the computer how many times you want to repeat it. So um, if you are controlling how many times an instruction gets executed, then that's a control command. And what I want to do is I want to repeat. And if you drag repeat out here, it opens up its mouth and it grabs everything. And I want to do that four times because I've got a uh, square. So now let's run it again. You're not going to notice any difference because it's going to work exactly the same way, but it's a whole lot less coding to get to that result. So uh, you can put whatever you want to in here. Let's say I want to do a five sided figure. Then I'm going to change this to five. I'll leave this size 100, but now I've got to do one fifth of a circle and if you take 360 and divide it by five you get 72 degrees so let's run that one and there's my pentagon being drawn on the screen and you can see that um, if I take this number right here I have to take 360 and divide it by that number to get how far I want to turn because in order to go here and go all the way around and get back so I'm turning in the same direction again I have to do a, f a basically I'm going all the way around a circle um, doing one-fifth of it every time so I'm doing 72 and 72 and 72 and 72 and 72 and that adds up to 360 so if I wanted to do six I'd have to make this a six and I'd have to make that one-sixth of a circle if I want to do seven I'd have to make that seven and do one-seventh of a circle and seven doesn't go into 360 so you'd be off by just a little bit probably um, eight and one eighth of a circle nine one ninth of a circle ten one tenth of a circle and so on and let's try something um, let's try uh, doing a 90 sided figure and uh, one ninetieth of a circle is four degrees now ten a hundred steps is going to be way too much but we'll try let's try um, three steps and let's run it and see what we get I think it's still going to be too big and you know what I want to I don't want to do that weight every time so let's drag the weight out of there I don't want to wait for 90 instructions to get executed so now let's run it again okay and now just moving three pixels at a time you can't really see um, the straight edges let's try uh, this is going to get big pretty fast. Uh, we'll try five and we'll see what happens with that. And let's run it. And it still looks pretty round. And the problem with that is that, you know, five pixels just isn't very much space on the screen. So we don't really get to see um, the straight sides. But um, 
the rule here is if you want to uh, make a side with this or a figure with this many sides uh, put that number in the repeat and then down here uh, take 360 and divide by this number and that will tell you how much you need to turn uh, to get all the way back to your starting point when you get done. Now what you can do on your own is you can try some of those other ones. You can try making a six-sided, and seven-sided, eight-sided, nine-sided, ten-sided figure or even some bigger numbers. So try that on your own.